Hello everyone, I am doing my top 15 favorite things for 2010. Logan Crafty Mama did a video and she asked others to participate. She wanted everyone to gather 15 things from their craft room and share with everyone else what they thought um, would be helpful to someone else. So my number one item for 2010 is the Gypsy. I think the Gypsy is a wonderful item to have in your craft room. You can take it on the go with you. You can do your pages and then once you get home you can load it on to your Cricut Expressions or your Create or your personal Cricut and you can cut out your pages. So for 2010 this is my number one to get item. My second item is die cuts with a view combo stacks. I especially love the Christmas combo stack this year. However, I just think die cuts with a view is in the top leading paper companies, I think, for crafters. Um, it's very inexpensive and they have so many different embellishments to go with their paper stack. So I think the die cuts with a view is a thumbs up item to have. My second paper stick that I love is by My Mind's Eye. I love their card stocks, their card stock paper as well. Um, most of their paper packs you get 54 sheets. It's three of each design, so it's 18 sheets most of the time. Another thing that I love about their paper packs is that you get a lot of boy colors. And since I do most of my layouts for a boy, I love their paper. And this is one of my favorite sticks ever. Playful Posies. I love the different um, pages that this came with. So that is my number three item for 2010, which would be my mind's eye paper sticks. My fourth item would be Prima Flowers. As most of you know, I have a million flowers. So I think that everyone should own Prima Flowers. They just add, they're I think one of the best embellishments that you can add to your pages. So this is my fourth item for 2010 would be Prima Flowers. My fifth item for 2010, um, I'm not sure how many of you own these, but these are by Memories Direct. And it came in this cute little box. It actually closes and you can just open it up. I got these from HSN. And they are ink dabbers. In this case, you get 24. And they are double sided. So you actually get 48 colors in all. Let's see. You get 48 colors. And I love these. These are kind of like um, the cat's eye chalk. But the only things that they're ink. So I actually love, I absolutely love these. So this is my next item to have for 2010. And I believe they are $30. When I bought mine, they were going to sell for $24 because it was like a day view. My next item would be Tim Holtz Distress Inks. This is wonderful. You can distress your pages. You can just um, do so much with these ink pads. So I just think that that is my next item. One of my next items would be Studio G Clear Stamps. This is one of the cheapest items that you can have in your craft room. But they give you so much for your dollar. I absolutely love the sayings that they use. The stamps are good quality for a dollar. So I think this is a must have for our crafters to go in a craft store and buy as many of these Studio G stamps that you can buy. My next item would be the Big Kick machine. This machine is so versatile. You can use embossing folders in it. You can use big dies. You can use regular dies. You can do so much with this machine. I absolutely love it. That leads me to my next favorite thing, which would be, I'm making y'all dizzy. 
the Martha Stewart punch around the page punches. I love these so much. I think that this was one of the best inventions ever. I love the punches that Martha Stewart came up with. I absolutely love them. My next all-time favorite is Nestabilities. I just started using Nestabilities. I think it was in November. And I absolutely love them. If I could afford them, I would get all of them. I think that this is one of the greatest items ever. And I will show you um, in another video how I've used my Nestabilities. These are my Spellbinders. So this is a must-have. One of my next items is Copic Markers. I love Copic Markers. You can use them with stamps. You can use them on flowers. Copic Markers is a must-have um, if you can really afford them. They are very expensive. This is one of the most expensive items in my craft room. Um, I have about a hundred and something Copics so far. I'm trying to get all of them. Um, I just think that it is really a great tool to have if you stamp. One of my next items, um, I don't really have a favorite embossing folder, but I do like embossing folders. These work well on cards i love them on cards so these are a must have for crafters my next item that i would say is a must have would be an atg gun this is the 700 i also do have um the new one that um came out this year but I did get this one this year as well. So I kind of really just wanted to compare them. And this is the 700. So I had to buy the new one since I had a 50% off coupon. But this is a must have. The ATG gun. My next item that I would say is a must have is Imagine This Eye Top Tool. And along with these eye top tools, you can purchase these separately, would be the punches. They come with, the eye top tool comes with stencils. However, I just think that that is very time consuming and a lot of us don't have that much time. So I just think that the punches, if you can afford to get them, use your 50% off coupons, ladies. There's three punches to use with the eye top tool, which comes in small and medium and then you can purchase the large one separately so that is my next item which is a must have and last but not least um these are by cutter b they're called bugs and i'm not sure if any of you saw the we are memory keepers new soul tool tool however these work the same way um they have these little spikes on the ends and you can use these on cards or layout. They're like stitching. And it makes an impression on your paper. Holes actually is what they do. And what you can do is use floss to sew your pages or cards. So those are my 15 items that you should have for 2011 that I purchased in 2010. So thank you for sharing, Caroline from Logan's Crafty Mama. And as soon as I heard your idea, I could not wait to get my 15 items together to do this video. I want to say Happy New Year to everyone. And I just hope, hope that we all can come up with wonderful and great videos for this year. Thank you for watching.